The following information is brought to you by Lympha Press, proud to be a gold sponsor of the 2020 NLN Conference. Lipedema is a painful fat disease resistant to diet and exercise that impacts about 11% of the female population, often presenting at hormonal junctures like puberty, pregnancy, or perimenopause. Despite its prevalence, many women go undiagnosed and untreated. Lymphopress is an advocate for the lipedema population and offers the only pneumatic compression pump cleared by the FDA for the treatment of lipedema, the Optimal Plus. Methods to manage their condition, the psychosocial impacts of the disease, and healthy doses of encouragement are part of Lymphopress's monthly lipedema patient roundtables. Top social influencers share their experiences and are often joined by clinical thought leaders like Dr. Karen Herbst. Here's a peek into the invigorating conversations that can help you serve your patients better. The, the thing about the glycosaminoglycan gel that's in between the fat tissue cells is that those glycosaminoglycans as part of proteoglycans are upregulated in lipedema and lymphedema. And so you don't take from another part of the body to upregulate it between the fat cells. It's your body just makes more. And once the excess fluid goes down, like if you pump or you wrap or you go swimming or you do a massage, then the, the signal to keep those glycosaminoglycans goes down and then you can actually decrease glycosaminoglycans. So it's, it's, a, it's a fluid active process. And it certainly is not going to hurt your joints um, if you develop more of them in your lipidema tissue, which is what we're fighting against. Is it common that there might be an eating disorder and lipidema? I see you nodding, Cheryl. What do you think? Yeah. Um, well, I know in uh, our group, the food sensitivities group, um, we, have a, we have a ban on saying anything about calorie restriction. So if, if anyone posts anything about calorie restriction, we, we end up banning that. Because we have found that there are a number of lipedema ladies in their desperate attempts to try to control the amount of fat that they have, that they've cut their calories. And I've heard of women who have cut calories to 600, 900 calories a day in that desperate attempt to try to lose the weight. Um, I, I, I mean, myself, I, I've done that in the past. Um, I, I know as a teenager, I was very desperate to try to lose weight. Um, and, and so I, I do feel that a lot of uh, teens and early adults um, are at risk for developing eating disorders like that. And I just got a comment in through the live chat saying about how, Patty, your group has done an amazing job of avoiding the pitfalls of the conversations that can be so harmful to people that are struggling to deal with their lipedema. Do you mind speaking to this issue for us, Patty? Sure. Um, it's not able to be fully avoided. Anytime we get a new group of um, people coming into the group, that tends to be stuff that comes up again. So it's kind of a re you know, readjusting the point of view. We tend to be a very body positive group. We focus on fitness, being active and things of that nature. And we will get people saying, but diet is part of fitness and diet is part of this. And we can, we understand that. We understand that nutrition is definitely important. And, you know, clean eating is stuff that we do. And, you know, lots of us in the group follow various styles and ways of eating that work for us. And we talk about it in that manner and we try to avoid the before and after pictures and I've lost 60 pounds and, and this yep. type of thing because so many people for so long have tried to lose weight their whole mm -hmm. lives and yep. they feel like they're still doing something wrong. So there's a lot of triggers in that, but it is definitely something that I'm, I'm constantly trying to remind people as those kind of types of posts come up again. I actually try to validate the person and I try, I spend a lot of time apologizing for all those before me who told them to diet and exercise. And I 
actually really try to give a lot of validation to them. I um, And I apologize to them for all those before me who said diet and exercise. And so I approach it in a validation point um, aspect. Um, and um, certainly try and remove any shame and, and try and put a positive spin on it like, like um, the rest of you do. Before we move on, any other comments about that? Go ahead, Dr. Herbst. So I think that the only thing that you'd want to avoid is, is processed sugar. And if, you, if we go back to the glycosaminoglycans, glycosaminoglycans are sugar. And so when you eat just plain sugar, you actually build up more glycosaminoglycans. Any, everything else is, you know, go ahead and, and have it. So what about vibration machines? Some of your followers said, we want to know your opinions on vibration machines. Susie, you're nodding. So what are you thinking? I mean, for me, it's made a big difference. And I saw the talk that Dr. Herbst did with Debbie um, during mm -hmm. Lipedema Awareness Month. And I had a whole body vibration plate that I used incorrectly and I hated it because I had bruises all over me and I was like, this is terrible. I'm never going to use this again. But I pulled it out after that. I messaged Debbie. She walked me through a few things because it's a technical, it is a thing that you should know how to use properly. She explained it to me and she was able to guide me and the amount of fluid that I'm able to move that with swimming has been become has eliminated my pain down probably 60 percent I would say the lippy pain is down whoa from that wow. since then that's wow. great results yeah it still gets flared if I eat the wrong thing and blah 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 but my everyday inflammation and pain is under control, which it definitely wasn't before. So that's all I want to say about that. Show of hands, who on this panel uses a vibration plate? Okay. Wow. All right. So I have a vibration plate that was like 100 to $150 on Amazon. It's not the best. It's probably not the worst. Um, I've used it for a couple years now, and when I first started out, I was concerned if I was close to the weight limit on it, so I didn't want to stand on it, mm -hmm. so I would sit with my feet on it, or if my thighs were really bad and hurting, or my, like, saddlebags, I would put it on the couch and lay my leg on it, like, long ways, and just let it vibrate under the base of my thigh, and the difference even just doing that made was huge question about fibrosis, explaining fibrosis and how to deal with it, and is deep tissue massage a good way to go? Fibrosis is the end result of inflammation in the tissue, and lipedema is an inflammatory disease, as is lymphedema, and the, the way the body tries to control inflammation out of, out of control is to just fill it in with scar tissue. And, and that's what fibrosis is. And there's different degrees of fibrosis. And a lot of what we see in lipedema is reversible fibrosis. And so you, you can't just do MLD for fibrosis. Well, okay, I'm going to take that back. You can just do MLD for fibrosis because LANA certified therapists have been taught to treat deeper into the tissue when fibrosis is present. And now any, any therapist who really knows lipedema now knows that they have to go deeper into the tissue because that fibrotic tissue is very deep. And you, if, you, if you have fibrosis in the tissue, the tissue doesn't move like it should and it pulls and tears and that's part of the pain. So going to, and you want to um, treat that fibrotic tissue in layers. You don't want to just go deep like um, with a fascia blaster. You don't want to just like plow through your fat and go right down to the fascia. You have to realize that fascia is at every level of the fat tissue, including in the skin. So you want to go in layers, you know, go slowly. And you can go deep over time as your body tolerates it. So deep treatments into the lipid, into lipedema tissue are important to do. And there's all sorts of ways to do it. And what works for one person may not work for another person. So you have to figure out the best treatment for you. And it may be a deep tissue massage. It may be quadrivis therapy. It may be a fascia blaster. It may be a gua sha tool. 
Um, it may be a manual lymphatic drainage therapist who goes deep. Uh, wh whatever you can do, and you can do this at home too, but the more tissue that have the, you have, the harder that becomes. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we, mm -hmm. I yeah. agree with, um, was it Angelique, that we have to get um, this treated early so it doesn't progress in advance. One of the tools making a difference in lipedema women's lives is the LymphaPress Optimal Plus. Special features like pre and post therapy, both sequential and wave or peristaltic therapy, Bluetooth capabilities, and the results? Patients have increased mobility, decreased pain, in some cases the elimination of fat pads, and it's very effective on fibrosis. Um, pumps have been shown to decrease fibrosis. Pumps have been shown to improve lymphatic flux. You increase lymphatic flux, you move those glycosaminoglycans out of your tissue. So win, win, and win. That traditional fat pad that's below the knee, that has disappeared. So I'm really pretty excited about that. We're excited about it for you, too. <laughs> and of course, I saw you. Uh, go ahead, Pale Ginger Pear. I know you had your t-shirt on. I love my pump. I love my lymphopress. press. Yes. Uh, I, like uh, Cheryl, I tend to do a hot-ish shower, get my legs warm, do a couple minutes on the vibration plate to get it, like, good and itchy and moving, and then we'll completely ungracefully shimmy my way into the pantsuit and <laughs> zip myself up there and spend, you know, anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half in it, depending on how my day mm -hmm. was and how my legs felt. Um, it was great right after my second surgery because I could start the pre-warm-up or whatever it's called um, on my hip area where my surgery had just been and could really kind of tackle that swelling and like the fibrosis in that area from just having surgery on the saddlebags. So that was great that it actually came up high enough and tackled that area for me. And then I love the fact that I can go to my app and switch it up. And if I've been sitting at my desk all day for work, I can have it start at my feet and ankles and get that extra buildup that's pulled down there from having to sit for work all day and get that up and moving out. And so I love that I can change it up for how my legs are feeling that day and get like kind of a very customized plan for what I need. We are going to encourage you now. So I'm gonna start with you, Cheryl. Give them a jolt of encouragement. Okay, I heard this recently. You're like a pineapple, so stand tall and wear a crown. <laughs> I love that, that's perfect. <laughs> Lippy Butterfly, what would you say to encourage everybody out there? I'm currently working with uh, my nutritionist, Kelly Maynard, and one of the things that we're talking about over and over and over again is giving yourself grace. Like, there's already so much stuff that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, chronic pain, difficulty walking, um, people not understanding what you're actually dealing with. Um, so give yourself the grace that you need to continue on. Don't beat yourself up. Don't tell yourself nasty things. Speak to yourself kindly and be gracious to yourself. Go for it, Patty. I'm gonna tag on to that. I'm gonna say don't lose hope. There mm -hmm. are brilliant people like Dr. Herbst and Dr. McCutcheon and they're doing all this wonderful research and every day we're learning more and we're advancing stuff. So get in your groups, share what you're trying, share what's working, what's not working and don't lose hope. Don't Lose Hope is really the heartbeat of our message at LymphaPress. In addition to the monthly patient roundtable webinars, the Lipedema channel is our YouTube space to share longer form interviews with leading voices in the Lipedema community. Since launching in June 2020 for Lipedema Awareness Month, hundreds have subscribed. At LymphaPress, we care about the Lipedema population and we're honored to partner with you to care for these patients.